right into it here. So chess time. <laughs> and let's play a new game. Ten minutes. Uh <laughs> wish me good luck. Oh I guess I can yeah, that way you guys can see the board. There you go. Let's play. Let's play Final Fantasy VIII. Good. Now we're gonna play a ten minute game. Best of luck to our opponent. Uh Gune. What uh so Alright, and best of luck. Let's go right here. Alrighty, and on chain. On chain. And already. Uh mm -hmm. There we will. Let's move this. Right here. All the right here. Let's move this guy here. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing pretty good tonight. We're just kind of chilling. Um, yeah, just kind of chilling. Oh, they're trading that bishop for that knight. I mean, that's a really solid trade for us. Uh, I guess this pawn is undermined, but uh, wow. I didn't see that coming. Uh, yeah, we'll take that with a tempo on the knight. Okay. And what we do here... Is yeah, we we line up on the knight. Um, I guess it can kind of. Hmm. Anyway, let's just move right here. Keep going. Pretty interesting. Hmm. All right, and that's an interesting move. Let's uh, double attack these knights. Yeah. So this is a called a double attack. Yeah, the queen's hitting this knight, <laughs> and this bishop's also hitting this knight. Also, the pawn's hitting that knight. So, best move for them: move this knight out of the way, and yeah, go from there. So, kind of a quadruple attack, really. But uh, okay, that's a good move. But um, yeah, we're just free to take this knight. So, is there a fork with this knight? Probably, yeah. Yeah, like right here, right here. Kind of attacks the queen. Maybe right here, maybe right here, but right here, kind of. But, yeah, this is a free knight, so, yeah. Three pieces, we'll just take it. And, yeah. All right, we'll go from there, so. Hmm. Hey, yo, boss. Hey, sir. What's up? Hey, Flu TV. Uh, question. I clearly won. Wait, what? But my opponent is dragging clock. Um. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't really. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually pretty new to chess.com myself. <laughs> So I, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, your night is going well. <laughs> hey there, Flu. Uh, yeah, kind of an odd question. Um, so it's basically about the clock. Oh, sir, thanks a lot. Yeah, that... Uh, I don't quite... Know, I mean, I don't have a for sure answer. I can look into an answer, I guess, but uh, and get back to you. But that's really weird, yeah. I clearly won the game, but my opponent is dragging the clock. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure if chess.com has a rule for that or not. That night's good, just having dinner. Nice flu, nice. Yeah, we're just kind of playing a little chess here. Looks like they auto-resign. So, good game. Yeah, it looks like they, are, they were just on McDonald's Wi-Fi. And that's unfortunate. You know, 
McDonald's is closed from the hours of yeah, um, 3 a.m. to 3.30 for maintenance in Wisconsin. So, uh, yeah, my night's okay, Flu. Um, um, to be quite frank, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So, we had some kind of major, just personal issues. Uh, just be, uh, yeah, if you guys pray, hey, man, I'm going to just straight up tell you. You guys are people of prayer. Hey, just be praying for my buddy, D uh, Diego, and his family. and. Uh, I'm not going to say what's going on because that's his business, but, uh, yeah, dude, just keep him in your prayers and I mean, yeah, so crazy, crazy stuff, really crazy stuff, but, um, all right. we're going to fork these pieces next move. Okay. So this is a fork. Even pawns can fork. So we're attacking both the bishop and this pawn. I'll probably just retreat this back here, but uh, even then it's pretty well trapped. And as you see, we basically occupied a lot of the dark squares, and um, yeah, I don't really know what they're going to do about that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, response, Raj, death. But uh, yeah, yeah, kind of a crazy, this day has probably been one of the most crazy <laughs> in my long, long years. Of life, right? This has probably been the craziest series of um it's just been wild, man. Um yeah, I guess we'll take this pun. But uh yeah. It's been yeah, anyway. Thanks, Flo. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Um Yeah. Alright, but anyway, uh we got the bash bishop to back off, which is good. Um this pawn's actually defended by the queen and the bishop, so they could take back with the queen and let the queen out. So, and we'll keep an eye on that, but other than that, not much going on in this position. We haven't really developed any of our pieces. That's somewhat of a concern, but not really. Like, whenever they're bringing out the bishops early and kind of fiend, this is basically fiend kettoed, but instead of being on the usual row, it's on this row. So that's somewhat of a concern, <clears throat> but in a lot of Fian Keto openings, um, yeah, the king is actually safer in the center than it is normally. So, and again, I don't know why they didn't take this pawn. <laughs> I guess we'll just we'll just keep attacking with it. Um, I see. That's actually a pretty clever trap. If we attack with that pawn and take that then um, it actually does them a big favor and lines up the queen while it's defended. So that's pretty clever. Um, the problem is we have enough defenders here. So, again, I don't know why they didn't take that, but uh, maybe they're a new player. I mean, we are pretty low here, 788. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're just trying to set up a checkmate here quickly with the knight. I don't know. Maybe they just want all their pieces developed and don't want to make too many pawn moves. Uh, okay, there they go. All right. That's a little more normal. Let's just play. I think I might castle queenside this game, guys. I just got a feeling. Uh, let's... Let's actually... <laughs> Let's move one of these pawns I'm going to move up. Actually, let's just develop this bishop. I'm probably going to move this pawn up because it's in an awkward spot. Uh, and then eventually just kind of move my knight out. And We've got some stuff that's going to happen. So, But we basically got two free pawns after the forks and stuff. And I'll keep an eye on this diagonal for sure. Um, but yeah. Okay, here comes the knight. I don't really see any threat. Maybe there's a fork here, but that's a defended. So I think what we do is we just move here. And I was going to move here anyway is the funny thing. And yeah, the knight go bye-bye, I think. Maybe it'll go here. No, I don't, I don't know. Uh, So like, sir, thanks a lot. Okay. So, like, imagine you have an overwhelming advantage. 
but I decided, oh, oh, right, like, you're in, like, a 30-minute game, right, sir? And then, um, I don't think there is an, I mean, maybe you can report them. But that's, uh, yeah, like, I kind of know what you mean. Like, to where, like, let's say I was all I was left with, like, is a king, a uh, bishop, and one pawn. And, you know, you have all these pieces out. You have, like, bukus of pieces out. Yeah, um, I honestly don't know that chess.com has a, um, has a um system that stops that yeah yeah that's what i was thinking flu i'm sure there's some kind of way to report but uh mm, that's that sucks man that sucks yeah basically you just kind of have to sit there and you know make sure you don't time out quote unquote or disconnect and that's an interesting move unfortunately for them it doesn't really do anything so uh yeah, I nice move, bro. I'm a, now. No matter what, I'm gonna grab one of these pieces. I'm either gonna grab the bishop or the knight with a with a pawn. So they were trying to be aggressive here. I get the idea. I get the strategy of what Roger Roger the is trying to do. The problem is, eh, you know, their best move actually here is to sack this bishop, have me take back with the pawn. And then get aggressive with the queen. Because I haven't castled, so... That's honestly their best bet. But, um... We'll, we'll just try to make good moves here. Uh, this position's pretty open for both of us. Which is interesting. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to distract me with that. I mean, that's, you know... Obviously, I'm going to take that. Because this is threatening the knight. Um, what's funny, though, is... Yeah, and plus, like, I want to leave the option to castles, so... Uh, I guess the knight could technically come in. That's a very interesting part of this position. Yeah, the knight could come... If I capture that, just openly, the knight could come in and capture back. So, obviously, what I need to do is take the knight first, and then go from there. <laughs> that eliminates the entire puzzle of the complicated... You know, I guess if they want this knight... They can take it, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of a weird game. This, this game is really weird, but, uh, yeah, they can pick up this knight in the shuffle and just, or this bishop. It's, that's up to them. Um, or just save the bishop if they just really want to do that. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. So this is lined up. I do have to be careful here. But I think we're good. So what we do here is we simply eliminate this. And let's see, what's the threat here? I guess this pawn. Um, That's cute. Maybe there's a checkmate here and I just don't see it. But I think this is the move right here. We just take a free bishop. So glad you fixed the can. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sir. <laughs> My bad, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually sort of halfway paid attention today. Uh, I I try to be semi professional, guys. It's 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 a work in progress. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> a lot of interesting threats here. One interesting threat is like this pawn is kind of undefended, and I, okay, I was getting ready to say they haven't castled, but they just did. So okay, well anyway, a pretty interesting move for us. Uh, yeah, we actually don't want to take this yet because the queen could take with check and do some crazy stuff. But let's actually just attack the queen straight up and say, hey, um, I'm developing pieces. I'm attacking your queen. What are you going to do about it? You know, so also we're sort of blocking in our king here by surrounding it with pieces, which I kind of like that. So and yeah, we've got all these extra pieces if we want to sacrifice some of them. That's fine. Also, this um, bishop is highly undefended, so for the life of me, I don't know why they didn't just take this. But let's see if they see. This is the undefended piece right here. So, yeah, they did not take it. Wow, that is a 
they took a pawn instead of a bishop. It just goes to show you, like, hey, you know, when you're in some of these positions, you really got to kind of look at the whole board and try to... Well, anyway, the obvious move here is to go <laughs> right here because, yeah, the knight's defending the rook and the queen's defending everything else. So, and their queen is probably likely to get trapped. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, this rook is free. I do have to defend that. But, uh, yeah, this ain't looking good for their queen. I guess they can escape over here. I might have misplayed by not moving this bishop, but, uh, you know. Do you think the, oh, wow, that's, uh, wow, that's a loaded question. Do I think the Pokemon trading card game is superior to the Yu Gi Oh? Wow. Um. I think. Uh, I will say Pokemon is far easier. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, thanks a lot. I will say. Yeah, I agree, Flu. Yeah, yeah. Yu Gi Oh has better online support. Um, Pokemon has better, like, if you just sit down in person, you know what I mean? And <laughs> that's actually quite true. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Flu. Like, yeah, if you're just trying to learn, hey, uh, yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely. Um, that is absolutely true. All right, let us... What will we do here? Hmm. I think what we'll do... We've got all these pieces out. Let's use them. Let's... Um, <laughs> Let's move... I could move this knight. Let's move this knight right here. Yeah, yeah Yu-Gi-Oh! is really like... Uh, that is true. So, well, Pokemon... What's great about Pokemon, right? It's like, look at what they've done to the online. <laughs> yeah, it's just great, man. You can just kind of basically pr play for free. So that's a thing. Um, Yeah, and the value on Pokemon cards is nothing like, ooh, bad move by them. I see the logic, though. You kind of just break through here, and then I guess this is a checkmate threat, technically. Uh, the problem is is that it's easily defended. So what needs to happen is this needs to go right here. I think. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if I add the rook here? Doesn't really change the equation. Yeah, that's a double. Yeah, that's doubly lined up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this bishop's putting in a lot of work. Um, yeah, let's actually move the knight right here and cut off the rook from supporting. So <laughs> there you go. Alright. <clears throat> also, the queen's just straight up being attacked. That is uh pretty clear. So yeah. Basically, we stopped the checkmate threat there, so pretty interesting. And yeah, we go from there. <clears throat> okay, so they finally take there. Took them quite a while to do that. And then we just, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm under check. Okay, so I got to take this. And then I guess eventually something will break here. But... um. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a fairly decent move, I guess. Um, what I will do is we're in check, so can I block with anything? Not really, which is kind of dangerous. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Let's just move right here. Yeah. Well, I should probably slide right here, actually. Mm, check with the fork. Yeah, I should slide right here. I should slide right there. 
Under 100, very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, yeah, card games are expensive regardless, bro. It doesn't really... Anyway, you guys know I, I ain't got to tell you, Jack, man. All right, so that's a uh, take. We just take that out. I guess they can take with check. But, uh, yeah, we just continue to play on. And... Slide right here, and yeah, go from there. So, all right, rooks off the board. We, I got to watch my time here, guys. So I may ignore chat for Kaiba playing tier. Wait, what? No, I did not. Um, yeah, I got to watch the time. So I may ignore chat for a few moments. <clears throat> I do not want to lose this one on time. Orc, maybe. Salad. Also, that rook's being let out. Let's uh, let's not ignore that. And they have the pawn advantage. I want to point that out too. So, pretty interesting game. That's interesting. Um. Okay. Let's move right here. So we're kind of just repositioning. Uh, or basically offering the queen trade over and over here. So, queen is undefended, by the way. <laughs> okay. That's smart to try to pick up the knight, I guess, or the bishop. But, um, yeah, let's actually block with the knight. So, there you go. <clears throat> and now everything's defended, I think. So, pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's that knight. Which is annoying. What's this knight trying to do? Well, it is p piling up here, which is funny. But, um, hmm, there could be a fork I'm not seeing, but it's fine. <clears> hmm. <throat> There probably is a fork I'm just not thinking of, but, you know, all good. <clears throat> the key here is going to be getting them to somehow trade their queen. Wow. Um, that's interesting. Um, queen sacrifice? Maybe that's actually the right move. Hmm. I got to think here. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. Uh, there's got to be a good move here. Oh, this knight's just kind of for free. So, yeah. I guess I can take this with check, but... Yeah. Which I do have to be careful, because I'm at the edge of the board here. But, uh... Yeah, that knight's just kind of sitting there. Alright. <clears throat> what was the mate line? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Flu. I guess we'll look at the game review, but... Maybe the mate line was to sack the queen. I don't know. One thing I do know is that, uh, yeah, I'm going to block with this knight. Yeah, that's the one thing I do know. <clears throat> and they'll probably move back here, and then I'll just move back here. Yep, sorry, Flu. I, I don't know. Playing under time, time pressure. Now they're under a minute too, so that's kind of nice. Probably just go back. There's really no reason not to. <laughs> that's an interesting move. Uh, let's move right here uh, and go from there. Oh. Yeah, that's an interesting move. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm hmm, let's grab this. <clears throat> hmm, right, right. We figured that was coming at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this knight's just doing the shuffle, the Cupid shuffle. So, if I have to, I will get a draw here by repetition. So, there's probably some kind of, ooh. Ooh, there is. This bishop, this rook can actually go right here. 
Wow, if I can avoid the repetition. Yeah, this bitch, this this piece can actually go right here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so they do that. That's funny. Yeah, that is hilarious. So, <laughs> wow. That is quite funny. But they went on time. But yeah, what's really funny there is at the end, I think I finally, yeah, yeah, flew. So the bishop was there the whole time. And I really just could have moved this rook in. And wow, dude. Anyway, game review. We figured it out. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll tell us what the checkmate was. But uh, wow, dude. I don't know. I I was more concerned about the time. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to ignore chat. And it's, it's whatever, you know. <laughs> but um, let's see if I see game review here. Big square. Start review. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, we want to get to the part. I might have missed some moves here, but they say that's a blunder. What was the best move there? Oh, yeah, just develop something and then... Okay. Cool. Uh, we continue. That, yeah, they say that was a brilliant move. Yeah, just to basically say, okay, we're attacking everything. What the what what in the world are you going to do about it? So, have the right idea. Um, yeah, you kind of... They say, oh, they say that was by the book. Interesting. I thought this bishop move would have been the best but i guess it wasn't huh uh yeah the queen is really tricky so i yeah i did kind of regret regret this rook move i thought if i moved the bishop right here that i would basically trap the queen there may have been a free escape square that i'm not thinking of but i probably should have moved the bishop and just kind of box that thing in but anyway yeah leaving the queen out turned to be a mistake uh yeah what was the best move oh okay just get the queen off the back row and basically you wall up with these pieces that's interesting eventually you went upon they say that's not the best move the best move from there is mm, okay sacrificing the bishop was the right idea okay all right go from there apparently i missed a move there oh i could have won the queen um how Oh, yeah, and this is what we were talking about. Yeah, the bishop can go there, or the rook, however you want to do it, with a check is the best way with the bishop. And then, yeah, you just go on from there. That's crazy. Um, Yep, apparently that was a eventual checkmate. And this is what you guys were talking about. Again, yeah, yeah, the game's telling me, like, hey, man, you could have sacked here the whole time. It's defended. It's defended. Like, yeah, sometimes you just, I wasn't even looking over here until there was like eight seconds and i was like holy crap i can take over here well the way i noticed is the king was lined up with the rook and then it just kind of clicked in my head like hey dude uh you can just kind of go from there but anyway i think we basically got it so yeah <laughs> uh but yeah we lost that one it happens you know um yeah just watch out for stuff that's lined up if the king's really open, I guess uh, go after it, man. Sack some stuff. It's not the end of the world. So, new game. Uh, wrong pawn. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Pretty interesting game, though. Um, let's move something a little different. Move the bishop right here. <clears throat> Good luck to all you dart. Seg, wait, what? What a weird name. Uh, let's just move right here. <clears throat> mhm. Mm okay. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bishop's undefended, so we'll just move back. Uh yeah. What you going to do about that? Of course you can just pawn move. Uh that is also undefended. So, whoops. I don't know what the idea there was, but, uh, you know, we are at a pretty low rated table. I'm just wanting to throw that out there. Uh, let's go in here with the knight, actually. That's a very good move. I should get back into chess. I'm too lazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should practice my checkmates, you know, on puzzles and stuff, but I'm pretty, uh, yeah. I should definitely practice my checkmates. Queen is here. It's lining up on this pawn. Do I care? 
Not really. I mean, I guess we can make a few pawn moves and just gain as many queen tempos as possible. So queen tempo, what are they going to do about it? I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and we can attack the queen again uh, with this bishop. Yeah, we can literally just bring it right here and maybe there's something I can do with the knight to be tricky. Yeah, move here and attack it again. I don't know. Uh their queen's also their king is also pretty exposed, so I'll keep an eye out on that. Uh for now. Yeah, let's just uh double back. Attack it again. And uh yeah. Let's just make them dance their queen around. I don't know. Oh, they didn't notice. Ooh, they pre moved. Ooh. <laughs> And that's, uh, oh, I'm still in the what? The Pokemon. Oh, I am? Oh, I'll, I'll fix the category after this game. Obviously, this game's tied. But thanks for the heads up, Flu. That's, uh, I guess the counter threat is, let's check out Forks. It's salad time. This is a bad move. This is a bad move. So the, the good move has to be here, right? Or here? What are they doing? What are they doing with this knight? I don't know. Um, I don't see the line. So let's just take this pawn and eventually take this rook. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the knight, guys. I'm just, yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, let's move here on this very good diagonal that has a lot of room. So, all right. Good night. All right. Interesting. A lot of pressure here in the middle. The problem for them is this is a fork. Yeah, even pawns can fork. So, yeah, I know this is defended by the rook, but this is a fork. And, yeah, what are you going to do about that, Black? What are you going to do? I don't know. But uh, good luck figuring it out. Hey, maybe there's a checkmate, and I just don't see it. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so they back off. Um, this knight is ours, and I will take it because this pawn's defended by this pawn. So, yeah, pr pr oh, this bishop's free in the scuffle. Also, this knight is quote unquote free. But the the matter what matters here is the attack order. So tactically, what makes sense? Well, tactically, we want to mess up their pawn structure. So I will take this knight first. And then take up the bishop after the scuffle. Because I want this pawn here. But so their pawn chain's kind of messed up. For like end game stuff. And then, uh, I mean, if they just let us keep our knight, I was getting ready to say, which they might, then we kind of do some tricky stuff. But, uh, all right. And now they're left with just two rooks castling into the open zone, huh? That's pretty interesting. Let's just move this bishop here. And go from there. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. I imagine they'll just start taking stuff with the rooks or whatever. But yeah, let's set up a check here with the pawn move. We also like lock this pawn up, which I kind of like at this point. Also, speaking of castling, I should probably castle my king over here. Um, yeah. Lined up on this pawn, that's fine because I can just move. Yeah, speaking of castling, this is actually a safe castle. Normally, it wouldn't be in such an open zone, but it also defends this pawn at the same time. So, pretty interesting game. I do have to watch out on this file, though. Uh, I just want to throw that out there. So, uh, I think we're good, though. We're up uh, how many pieces? All of them? Yeah, we're up all the pieces. Also, this rook is free. So let's just... Yeah. <laughs> you know, take that with check. Um, Yeah. So... Uh, okay, so they did not see that the pawn could take. So, yeah, I guess they're, like, new to the game. It's cool. I mean, you do... You, you will... I said duel. You play against all kind of rated players. And this one kind of just snowballed. It could be that they're actually, like, about an equal level of play to us. But this one snowballed, like, hella quick. So, and that happens, you know, just if it snowballs, 
don't take it too hard on yourself. Just kind of realize like, hey, I didn't see the fork or I didn't see this or it's just one game, you know, and then next game play up to the level of 773. And yeah, you know, don't worry about snowballs. Everybody loves a snowball fight. So just enjoy yourself and try to learn like, oh, OK, maybe I should um not do that and I should calm down and just kind of, you know, woo sigh and just try to play, you know, tact tactfully. So interesting check here. Huh, can we get a two bishops check, mate? Holy crap. This is looking very dangerous for black. My goodness. Uh, I think the best move here, obviously, is to just push this pawn, get a queen. That's pretty. And if, if we just start pushing this pawn, what's black going to do? I don't know. But they're not they're not going to, you know, is this checkmate? No, because the bishop's undefended. Wow, very close, though. Um, Actually, let's have the knight assist. And I think this is very dangerous. This move right here. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but um, yeah, this is looking very dangerous for black. Look at these bishops. Yeesh. There's got to be a checkmate here somewhere, man. I don't know where it is, but I just trust my instincts on that one. My goodness. The king is uh, low on space. Um, Yeah, let's just go right here and again what are they going to do about it i don't know but wow interesting and we move here with a, a queen and not looking good for black so from here let's uh <laughs> yeah we're free to move here because the bishop so i guess this space is free um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's move here uh, with check, queen down, and that's checkmate. Okay, <laughs> just queen the pawn for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we did flu. We got it. We got it. All right. I mean, no need to review that one. That was basically one of those snowball games. And how accurate did I play there? I played with... Um, uh, I don't know how accurately I played, but game review, doo -doo 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 -doo. Magnus Carlson. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm not going to do that, but, um, uh, I probably play, played pretty accurately. Well, then again, I made a lot of pawn moves, so, okay, yeah, 12 best move, four good. Yeah, nothing brilliant or great, but, like, yeah. It's pretty obvious that some of those takes were free, so not bad, not bad, honestly. All right, um, right, let's change the... Or I could just quit now, start playing Pokemon. Let's, um, let's do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, or, well, one thing I will ask is, um, <laughs> you guys are here. Uh, did you want a viewer? Game Lou or Sir <laughs> before I switch Oops before I switch huh? Yeah, because I can offer you guys a viewer game, like one viewer game before I uh 'cause I was just thinking, yeah, I could switch to just chatting, close it out and then uh but yeah, yeah, just let me know if you want one, I got you. And then we'll go from there. But, um, yeah, let me click the home button here, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a good point, um yeah, hmm? nice, it's nice, yeah. well, hey, hey, good to have you here, flu anyway, I mean, obviously, you know me, we're just kinda. We're just chilling, dog. <laughs> We're just chilling, talking about, you know, whatever. So good to have you aboard. Uh, welcome to the vessel that saves you from the flood. Hey, oh, hey, that was pretty. Hey, Tim. Hey, hey, buddy, my editor, clip that one. Yeah. Welcome to the vessel that saves you from the flood. Wow. Is that is that how I'm going to, like, welcome people into chat? 
that honestly sounded pretty clean. I just kind of was rambling, but uh, yeah, Tim, hey, clip that one. Hey, that's uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll consider that in the uh, the uh, tagline. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that being said, I need to close some stuff out. Yeah, clip that one, Tim. Man, geez. I'm on a roll today. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of smooth. Yeah. Hey, thanks. I, yeah, I just, I, I just talk and vomit. Uh, word. I, I've been told I have a diarrhea of the mouth, and uh, you know, I could shut up more. You know, in like my everyday uh, life. <laughs> well, not only shut up, I could, you know, learn to listen. That's my. Uh, uh, yeah, I got some things I'm working on. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, every every once in a while, Tim knows we'll get a gym. We'll get like a hidden gym. Uh, speaking of gym, let's switch to Pokemon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So let's go here, and then let's go here. Okie dokie. I think in the background, let's put, um, mm, that's actually a good idea. Okay, so we're going to be screen sharing here in a little bit. So what will I put in the background? Well, I think I'll go to my captures here. And in the background of this, let's put, <laughs> this picture always makes me laugh. Uh, it's just kind of a Pokemon uh, related picture, but uh, I should put something with like Misty and Psyduck and just a headache. But this picture always makes me laugh. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, in the background, we're going to have Ash with Apom. I'm going to screen share here in a minute. Just kind of setting up. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But yeah, best of luck on your Duelist Cup Duels flu. And uh, yeah, just have fun with it. You know, keep in mind you win gems no matter what. So get all those gems with a, I don't know, what's a really bad deck? Um, <laughs> Flamveil? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do the Flamveil Duelist Cup Challenge <laughs> on your alt. Yes, I got all these medals with just, and gems with just Flamveil. Pure Flamveil. And, and not Neo, pure Flamveil. Yeah, because you get gems no matter what. Yeah, but yeah, just have fun, dog. You know, have fun. Um, yep. <laughs> it's grinding on my alt. Just playing Guru Control Cap. <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny on my alt, which obviously I'm never going to stream. Right, guys, for my alt. And the reason for that was actually something Tim addressed to me. It's called streamer self-protection. You know, because technically, according to the hard, you know, the hardcore R&D rules of Master Duel, you're not supposed to have alts. Also, alts kind of interfere with their new player reporting process. So, Master Duel, like, if you publicly say, oh, I have alts and I use them. Yeah, I mean, Konami's not going to, like, shut your account down or anything. But let's let's say you stream from seven di for different alts. That is pretty noticeable behavior. And uh, I hear rumblings down from Konami because I have a buddy who actually works up there for them. I hear rumblings that yeah, there's going to be a new wave. You guys be careful on all your alts because there's going to be a new wave of Master Duel trying to not only crack down on alts. But find a way from them being able to be created. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to do that. But I've just heard rumblings about, you know, yeah, just accountability and reporting. Um, and how the swarm of alts kind of skews the bottom line. And that's, uh, yeah. There's one thing Konami doesn't like. It's their bottom line getting screwed. And not in a fun way. So, yeah, you guys be careful out there. I mean, just if you're streaming, you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're a normal, everyday, you know, citizen of Wisconsin, you should be fine. Um, 
no, no, they would never have been like an ordinary person. But you know, if you're using 10 noticeable alts and not paying money, yeah, see, that's the issue. That's the issue, Flu. Yeah, they're tired of people using 20 alts and not paying any money. So, yeah, I have heard rumblings that they're gonna try to, again, hey, Will this be done a year from now? No. Two years from now? No. About four years from now, they're going to make Master Duel alt-proof. Alt and then they're just going to purge it. I mean, trust me, guys. Trust me. Hey, you heard it here first. I flooded your mind with the truth. So four years from now, when there's the alt-revolution, where Konami just purges all the alts, remember, Flu, you heard it there first. Looks like they're banning every Yugi to... <laughs> well, they're banning some of the popular ones. And and again, I think they would give everybody... You know what I mean, Flu? Once they get the programming figured out, which is the hardest part. But there are some smart kids working on it. Once they get it hammered and ironed, I think they would give everyone a fair, you know, six months warning. Okay, if you're a streamer, Stop using alts. This is your six months warning. Purge it yourself. Maybe we'll, they have a transfer function, you know, four years from now. Purge it yourself. Unite it into one account. Don't make any more alts. We catch you. Three strikes are out. Three strikes are out. You know, it's okay. I'll just play Edison. <laughs> yeah, I'll go on a uh, dueling book. It's all good. It's all good, chat. Um... No, but seriously, I mean, you and I both know the truth, Flu. Like, they are definitely, yeah, and like, what's weird is I have got a buddy who works at Konami. He's, uh, he's actually pretty high on the food chain. Well, uh, don't say you weren't warned, uh, chat. Don't say you weren't warned. Uh, yeah, love you guys, but, uh, yeah. you got, y'all, y'all are going to learn to listen to old, you know, old boomer flood. Some of these things I'll be telling you guys about, you'll just be like, wow, that actually happened. I'll be like, yeah. And when I told you five years ago, <laughs> crazy old flood. There he goes again. I'm actually telling the truth on this one. So, anyway, let's uh, get you guys in chat here. Just kind of chilling over here below APOM. All right, and boom. All right, maybe I should minimize this a bit. There we go, I can see chat now. All right, there we go. There we go, guys. Let's just, yeah, <laughs> all we're doing is playing Pokemon. It's easy. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Flu, you think we'll find a shiny? Oh, that's the other thing. I should check my, let me go to just chatting for just a second. That I want to avoid some spoilerific things. But I should check my master volume. Yeah, hey, hold up. Hold up. Because I do have some things in my start menu. For future LPs. And uh, yeah, you can't even spoil those. It's on four. I'm going to back it down to two. Oops. There we go. <laughs> and we're at that volume. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. And, you know, I wouldn't mind spending money. There really is. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, and now you kind of see, like, think about it from Kona Think about it from a business standpoint. That's exactly why they want to crack down on alts. You know, they just want more money. And that's fine, I guess. You know, it is a business at the end of the day. I. I, I, I understand it from a, you know, so. Mm hmm Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Flu. So, yeah, I, I get it, you know. It's just like, put yourself in the CEO's shoes. Like, okay, I get it, you know. Play no doings. <laughs> exactly, so. All right. Um, anyway, welcome back, guys. Last time on Pokemon Platinum Randomizer, we, uh... Yeah, basically did some berry farming. Uh, basically raised our levels. Uh, we caught Snorlax, didn't we? 
Mm, yeah, and then we also um, looked for some random Pokemon. What are we working on right now? Um, Terra Force is almost level 20. Once he gets to 21, I think I'll box him. Right, and we're working on Hitmon Me. Anyway, this is a randomizer. Let's show you. Let's show all the Pokemon. Not only to refresh you guys, but to refresh myself. Okay, so Steel Electric. Watch out for ground types. Um, that's right. Uh, uh, Jet's Sun with Intimidate. Um, uh, right. It's a Gold Duck typing. Okay. Um, Hitmon Me Adaptability. Okay. Fighting Rock. Power Gym would be a hell of a random TM to find. Uh, <laughs> right. E Red King, the Fire Slow King. All right. Skill. <laughs> uh. And Ice Devire, which is obviously an ice with snow cloak. So that's pretty good. Ice Steel. So watch out for fire. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, with that being said, let us. Uh, how are my balls looking? I. <laughs> I I'm I'm such a juvenile. I can't. Oh, anyway, let's see if I can buy any more balls. I'm such a juvenile. Okay, so my balls are looking a little better. I have uh, restored my balls, Pokeballs, and um, yeah, we're free to, uh, you know, just, uh, get out here. Oh, by the way, it is Friday, so <laughs> sure, let's check in the seal right here. Uh, yeah, this is Drifloon, aka Seal. So yeah, normally Drifloon, it's Seal Team Six. <laughs> Not bad, Terra Force. Um, not a shiny or anything, so... Yeah, also I forget what type seal is, but uh... Anyway. By the way, chat, what's your favorite Pokemon? Mine is Garchomp, and no amount of steel dragon types will make me change my mind. Yeah. So, when I first played Pokemon Platinum as a kid, right? And like, flew and I'm sure Sir and other people who uh, followed me can relate to this. <clears throat> Cynthia's team. This is like one of the best. People always talk about who's the best champion. Is it Lance? Is it, you know, in Johto? Is it, who is it? Who is it? Who, I mean, I love Platinum. Not Diamond and Pearl. There were a lot of glitches there. and A lot of nonsense. Platinum. Cynthia's well, and I just love Cynthia as a character. She's my favorite. And she's an active champion, too. Is the thing. She's very active in this game. And throughout the... What I love about Cynthia and Platinum is even when shit's going to hell... Uh, right, Flu. When shit's going to hell with Giratina... She is, like, still a leading force, and, yeah, I feel like if our character wasn't there to deal with Giratina, I feel like Cynthia's team could not only deal with Giratina, but catch it. That's how good her champion team is in this game. It's that good. And I couldn't say that about every champion. You know what I mean, Flu? I couldn't say that... Let's say Blue's team. From, yeah, Pokemon Red and Blue. Could I say his champion team could capture Giratina? And there's a chance. You know, he does have Venusaur, so with Sleep Powder. But, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be an easy capture. I feel like Cynthia would have a way easier time controlling the battle. And getting a successful capture with her wide variety of Pokemon, including her beastly Garchomp that you see for the first time. I feel like, yeah, yeah, you know. And in fact, like, in this game, right, in Platinum, the, the original champion, you know, Cynthia. I feel like her Garchomp could take Giratina straight up. Just one-on-one, -on -one, man on man, Pokemon on Pokemon, mano y mano. 
throw down, shake down, duel. If they both had Yu-Gi-Oh decks, <laughs> Giratino had a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, shuffled it up, and drew cards. I feel like Cynthia would basically draw Exodia. Like, her team in this game, her and the theme, oh man, the champion battling theme in this game is just so awesome. So, but yeah, I like everything about Platinum. I, I mean, really, any Pokemon game is pretty easy to love. <laughs> you know, because A, it's Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, what do we have here? Um, boom, 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 boom. Doo, doo, doo. um, undoubtedly, oh, maybe I should move this a little this way. Doo, 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 doo. I mean, Cynthia or Leon are undoubtedly strongest champions. I agree, Flo. I agree. They're pretty, they're pretty high, <laughs> you know, in the ranking. Um, maybe Cynthia is like actually number three or whatever. But, like, she is pretty well up there. You know, she is pretty pretty high on the, you know, just ranking. So, but, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I can move you guys right here. <laughs> yeah, she's, like, pretty, you know, high up there uh, regardless. So, maybe she's actually at number, you know, three and a half in the true rankings. But, you know, I, she's my number one, you know, so, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, do, 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 do. yeah, no, that, that's the one thing I also liked about Platinum, not Diamond and Pearl, again, Platinum, her Platinum team's just way better, is that, like, the champion was actually a challenge. A lot of times you'll go to Pokemon and you'll just be like, ah, you know, we're playing a uh, Gen 7. We're playing, uh, you know, <laughs> this champion's a cakewalk. This game's a cakewalk. You know, I like Professor Kawui, but it's a cakewalk. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's whatever. And, oh, Smeargle, that's interesting. Oh, Pokemon Platinum, the six Smeargle challenge. No, I'm kidding. But no, no, I actually feel like her, her team's a challenge. The only other... You know, really part I felt challenged in, as far as an Elite Four run, well, I'd say the end battle in Pokemon Black or in Pokemon White, the first ones, that was pretty unexpected for, but that was mainly because not so much that, oh, in is hard, you know, and he's a great trainer. It was more of, oh my God, an evil team actually took over the Pokemon League. What the flippity flam's going on? It was more of that. And you, you, we all knew Getsus was the bad guy all along. So the, really, the true champion kind of was Getsus in that game. Which I'm fine with on a story point. It's just um, yeah, kind of weird that, uh, yeah, that that happened. But was in the champion or was Getsus? The I mean... It's pretty, I would say, well, obviously the gets this fight is harder than the, it, it's almost like there are two champions, the more and more you think about it. So black and white has really kind of its own, it's just unique. And I love what uh, Pokemon black and white did. Yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> Getsus does have some surprisingly good Pokemon there at the end. Um, but yeah, ends ultimately like the quote unquote rival and a champion. Kind of like Blue was, is, you know, so. Yeah, I would say it's definitely in, but, you know, the Getsus fight is required like right before that, too. So I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> and the fact that an evil team succeeded in. Well, even in this game, I could talk about that. The fact that an evil team succeeded in capturing legendary Pokemon, that, like, whoa. You know what I mean? Because that's what they're trying to do, clearly. Uh, team Magma and uh, uh, Aqua are trying to do in, um, you know, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. They're trying to capture these titanic forces of nature. 
they're just failing at it and failing to understand really the heart and compassion behind Pokemon. So, um, and they're trying to control them by force. Uh, the thing is, is like, you're in Platinum. Um, yeah, the team leader, actually, and I forgot his name. I can picture what he looks like, too. But uh, anyway, yeah, he actually succeeds in making that red chain of uh, creation. So, th and the fact that they captured legendary Pokemon is pretty surprising and eye-opening to the power of Team Galactic. It's like, that's literally the first time an evil team succeeded with, like, pretty dark plans of experimentation. I guess there were some succeeded plans of, like, Team Rocket with, like, legendary Pokemon in the anime, in the anime. That's, like, anime only in Johto, but, like, in the games, it's pretty clear, like, whoa, dude, what the hell just happened? They captured all the, like, Pokemon, you know, here in Platinum. And then shit's just going to hell. It's snowballing. It's what is going on here? And yeah, the the, <clears throat> the DS graphics are superb for Giratina. I think that's what really helps me like Platinum as my favorite game is that uh, the submersion into the distortion world. <laughs> how you have to do all the puzzles and you start converting and just, it's just awesome, man. It's just awesome to take the transition of like kind of a normal run of the mill Pokemon. Like, Oh, here we go. Yeah. But dad, but we're going through the motions. It's Pokemon. You know what I mean? You go from that to, um, I didn't mean to run away there by the way, but you go from that to the exploration of the distortion world. And you can just feel the slow build. <laughs> so like the climax of the game and you're just like holy crap not only do they get legends you know they got the chain not only do they get the chain you know luckily Cynthia is here Cynthia is standing with us like in this grandiose scary AF moment but she's here the champion's here well you know and like she is right by your side and holy crap can we get this behemoth of thing that's you know just literally distorting the world can we get it under control like you know i don't know crazy but uh yeah <laughs> great storytelling in platinum and really in black and white too as well i oh, well not in black and white too just black and white also <laughs> so yeah, those two, I, they're always like shuffling, which game, for which game I like best. It's always a shuffle between Platinum and, well, it's hard to beat the originals. Yeah, and I kind of like the original anime story. So it's always a shuffle between those three. Original, um, Platinum, and Black and White. One thing I will say, though, as far as my favorite of the anime... I have fond memories of Platinum and Dawn and just all the zany Ashes antics. Even here with like Apom. Like, <laughs> I just have fond memories of that. Uh, also fond memories of just the OG crew. You know, Brock, Misty, and uh, Ash. So, Ash, uh, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. So. <clears throat> but I know. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think I'll play Pokemon for like, I don't know, chat. Really, when I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm going to play Pokemon until I feel like sleepy. And then we're just going to end stream because, uh, yeah, about that time you know usually about this time of night i sort of wind down and just kind of start chilling <clears throat> so uh yeah that's the plan we play pokemon until we're bored or sleepy and then if i still have energy to stream excuse me we switch to i don't know maybe master door or something switch to branded to put us to sleep <laughs> 
<laughs> boring branded ladder combos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's literally the plan tonight. I'm using chat to put myself to sleep. Or, uh, well, really... Yeah. And you guys have done that before, I'm sure. Just play your favorite video game, and yeah, you start to kind of wind down and calm down and just kind of drift off. So that's the plan. Uh, I do need to wake at 6 in the morning. So. Oh, and we get the legendary encounter music. Hell yeah. It's just uh, Ooxie, right? Yeah. <laughs> We were just talking about you, you see, and all of the like Pokemon, so. Alright. Yep. Uh -huh. Alright. Uh. <sighs> there it is. Alright, good, good. <laughs> That's good. Alright, let's give our boy Blastoise some love here. And yeah, let's just continue grinding here. I uh, don't necessarily need to get him to Aerodactyl's level, but we just want to get a little bit of experience with him. And before I end the stream, I will plant some berries and time them to regrow. So, alright. <laughs> nice you see again. And... Snack. All right. Okay, that works. <laughs> yep. Forget I even had this. Oh, God. Hey, I'll take it.
nice. Nice crit Ekans. <laughs> sure, we'll throw a ball. It is a pretty low HP. And this thing does put um you can see the sleep. This this happens quite often. Where we just get the one ball to be chucked. But yeah, yeah. I don't expect the Pokeball to ever capture it. But you know, it is worth just a shot just because it's so low and it paralyzes like your odds are you know not perfect, but yeah, we will keep trying, you know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and I can... Last ones, bitch. Alright, Intimidate does make uh, training jets in a little slower, just from the animation frames, but all good. I love Blastoise, so we'll deal with it.
Ooh, a bite on Blastoise? Okay, we'll take that. Alright, looks like Bite isn't very effective against uh, Heracross, so let's just stick with the uh, uh, Bubble or whatever, or Water Gun. All right, well, Sandshrew is pretty rare here. <laughs> if we've learned anything about this area, it's like, wow, Sandshrew at, at night's pretty rare, so. I don't know, and we may want to look for one with a pretty different ability. I don't know.
<laughs> actually got the speed drop of bubble there. That's pretty rare. <laughs> Everything seemed to calm down, so let's go there. Move here. Let's just kind of feel this top screen. Not worried about it. Oh, what time is it, by the way? Hmm, okay. Right, yeah. Uh, I'll be. Um, I'm gonna keep gaming here for you guys, chat. Um, basically, um, I do have some things to take care of here that are pretty important. So I just remembered. <laughs> yeah, I kind of need to uh, start that. So um, yeah, just kind of hang with me here. Um, I will be just kind of in and out, uh, basically pushing the button. But yeah. <laughs>
Snorlax, nice. <laughs> Pretty rare encounter here, but yeah.
get those clothes going. Um, is there a Jodo? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I agree. I haven't heard of one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, sir, thanks all. I was just asking, hey, is there a Jodo Rom, Rom hack on Radical Red's level? So, which is basically challenge mode the game. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I guess um, yeah, some of you guys are on my YouTube channel. Yeah, just let me know, like, um, <laughs> you hear about anything like that? Yeah, just holla at your boy. <laughs> let me know, okay? Let me know. <laughs> holla at me. There you go. <laughs> oh yes also uh there you go show apon <laughs> there we go that, that face <laughs> there we go all right yeah right there <laughs> all right all right let's keep going in here with Cheryl and just uh <laughs> yeah it's actually pretty funny all right and i'm pretty sure i've beaten all the trainers in here yeah 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 so. Not a problem, not a problem. All right. Let's just keep going. Um, I'm going to continue to uh, basically sh kind of shut things down in my room. I mean, you, you might have saw there, but uh, uh, obviously I was working on some laundry. And wow, what's up with the encounter rate? <gasps> oh, it's the field effect of Intimidate. I just realized, like, oh, yeah, you know that Pokemon we're training up front, Blastoise? Yeah, so for those of you who don't know and might be wondering, like, why haven't you been running into that many Pokemon? Yeah, so ever since Emerald, right, they introduced the field effect for Intimidate, which slightly, and I'm going to say it more than slightly, maybe they boosted the rate of Intimidation and uh, lowering encounters. But yeah, I do know Intimidation, the, the ability, in general, it lowers the encounter rate. Yeah, even if it's by like 2%, 5%, let's say it's at like 7% or some random number. But right there, it was really noticeable. That was like Intimidate at its finest, which honestly can be pretty clutch sometimes because sometimes, you know, the Pokemon Center is right there. It's just right here. But like there's this big chunk of maze grass because Pokemon designers love their mazes. And you literally just need to take a shortcut and just kind of go right there to the Pokemon Center. And sometimes that Intimidate can just be clutch. <laughs> just to make sure you don't get any encounters and white out right before you reach the new city. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Intimidate. Pretty good. Like, man, we went through so much grass there. We went through so much grass, we should have rolled it up and smoked it. I mean, it's legal here in Wisconsin. So, if you have a... Uh, if As long as you subscribe... <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe for co for cocaine today. No, no, but like, as long as you have a like a medical uh, Mary Juana card, it's legal here in uh, Wisconsin. So, and it's all good, man. It's crazy. Like, uh, I haven't really talked about it on stream. And toss, toss. Yeah, Tim. Uh, according with Tim, I probably shouldn't talk about it. Uh, one thing I will say, just in general. It is amazing how we're we're really close to about over half, right? So sometimes you can go by a state by state basis on certain laws and certain principles and just certain, you know, things. But as far as the medical marijuana, we're almost at uh, above 50%. Like it's close and there are some other states and you know in the US in America. Uh yeah, working on that. So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let's say you're from China and you're watching my stream for the first time. So, here's the deal. Marijuana is a hot topic, marijuana. And the main point is like, yeah, we're actually kind of studying hemp. 
and THC in general. And there's new scientific evidence that, you know, is basically saying, because, like, you know how a lot of people have anxiety disorders? And I can speak to this. I have bipolar disorder, which I've talked about several times on stream. Um, no, I just straight up take my medication. Yeah, which reminds me, by the way, Chet, if you're watching the YouTube VOD, uh, you know, exactly 22 days from now, which would be, so we're on the 20th, it would be the, yeah, on November the 9th, at exactly, you're watching this VOD, and it's in November the 9th, and it's exactly 9.19 p.m., this is your reminder from Flood, hey, I saw you in the future watching this VOD, and I'm reminding you, chat member, number one, leave a comment and say, hey, how did you know I would be watching at this exact time on November 9th? Number two, thanks for the reminder to take my medication. It is now medication time, so whatever medication you take, hey, if you don't take medication, go drink some water, ice cold water, and don't chug it down slowly flood your body with that water and enjoy it. Hey, Tim, hey, hey, clip that one. Yeah, that was, yeah bro, that, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good promo number two. Yeah. Anyway, medication reminders aside so one thing i can speak to is my bipolar disorder did i feel better under marijuana yeah i mean because i did try it you know you can kind of just try it and um you know i'm i know how to get it legally you know so and what effect does it have on me yeah i mean because marijuana, basically, it's a case by case basis. It, you can't say just say, "Oh, like we have this one marijuana edible, and it's perfect, and it works for everybody, and it's wholesome, and it's natural." No, 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 that's not the way marijuana works. Because obviously, marijuana, like um, recommendation, you know, medical marijuana is literally a case by case basis, and really, any doctor decision like that should be if it's for anxiety or diabetes or you know whatever um <clears throat> one thing i will say is that i have tried uh marijuana for my like you know for my bipolar disorders like and you just kind of test it for yourself you say oh hey do i function better do i process this better do i am i still emotionally um just kind of have these outbursts do i have these feelings you know these feelings that are tossed to talk about but are real feelings and that we all suffer through um you know toss on youtube because uh yeah did you know you can't even say the word like god on youtube without getting demonetized oh by the way demonetized well wait wait tim you you can you can clip that out right you can have it oh okay but uh, no no seriously though yeah, you can't talk about basically what i'm talking about like bipolar disorder and like the deep ends the really, really low lows. You can't say that word that, you know, uh, and just, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, miracle, <laughs> miracle, yeah, mer miracle, Maradona, no, medical marijuana. It's legal here in Wisconsin. And it's just an interesting topic. You know, it's like, uh, oh, big water frog. I'm doing a playthrough on Pokemon. Ooh, nice. Uh, what was, what is your, or, eh. um, yeah, welcome into the waters, <laughs> big water frog, we got a lily pad for you, don't worry, <laughs> good to have you aboard, uh, yeah, um, we were just talking about medical marijuana, <laughs> well, actually, we were talking about how I have bipolar disorder. First of all, the monkey, yeah, A-Palm, A-Palm. <laughs> yeah, that thing caused so much havoc. <laughs> I'd love to steal Ash's hat there, but uh, <laughs> good to have you aboard. Um, <laughs> welcome. Uh, you're safe to climb aboard the vessel in the midst of the flood. Yeah, so uh, come on in. The waters are fine. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, good to see you. Just hope you're having a good night. And yeah, honestly, I hope you're played through. Hope you find like five shinies, and they're all like the shinies you want. <laughs> um, yeah, right now we're just kind of just grinding our Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of my Pokemon to like level 25, and honestly, I was kind of. Well, anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> just got to the part. Ah, nice. So, uh, which which is actually right above us. <laughs> uh, after the gym, of course. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys don't know what, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> what Big Water Frog's talking, uh, yeah, there's actually. Which I'm sure you guys know. Well, we'll get there when we get there, Chad. We're we're not in any hurry. We're, right now, um, here's the thing. Basically, Big Water Frog, I play... I don't like, oh, go, 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 go. We got to finish Platinum right now. Right now, right now. No, no. Everybody knows that... Uh, and especially, like, long-time watchers of my YouTube channel. Uh, which you should subscribe to. No, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, long-term viewers know that, like... You're in for the long haul. I don't really get in too big of a hurry when it comes to uh, Pokemon. I basically, I want to. We're just here for the fun, and it's fun to just kind of grind levels and use Pokemon <laughs> you wouldn't normally use. I guess I can show you my Pokemon right here. Is like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because Cheryl will, yeah, heal you up exactly. Like you know, like, but yeah, let me just show you some of our Pokemon here. So. <laughs> Which is always pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so here's Jet Sun. <laughs> yeah, he's actually... He has Stab. Uh, yeah, this Blastoise is Water and Psychic. <laughs> These are its moves. It's Hasty. We got Intimidate. Uh, not uh, Could have better EVs, but... These are its moves. Bubble, Rapid Spin. <laughs> um, next Pokemon. This is Icy Byer. And uh, Actually, we got lucky with this one. It has Snow Cloak... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. I recommend it. We got Snow Cloak, and then it's actually an Ice type, Ice and Steel. So, yeah, we got to watch out for fire. But yeah, Ice plus Snow Cloak is really good. I hope we get a random Hail TM. You know, that's gonna be easier said than done. But um, yeah, there's its moves. Not bad. It's a mixed attacker. Uh, hit hit him on me. <laughs> And that's because it's fighting type. So, fighting rock. <laughs> uh, definitely looking for power gym out of this thing. Because it's a special attacker. So, adaptability. You know, it's actually a really good. As if Starmie needed an attack boost. That's like really good. Um, I feel like this thing is going to carry us. When it comes to the Elite Four. Like, seriously. Um, but, um, next Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Fira King. Just a pure fire... <laughs> and what's funny is I've never used Slow King, right? Because, like, think about it. Who goes through the trouble of getting a King's Rock, having two DSs, trading, and trading back with yourself or a friend when you could just raise Slow Poke to level 37 and basically have the same Pokemon? Anyway, skill link. Uh, yeah, got some usual. This is our sleeper, which helps us catch new Pokemon. And yeah, Terra Force is our last one. So this one is has guts. And yeah, Steel Electric. Pretty good type. If this thing would have had Levitate, like... Dude, that's the dream. Steel Electric plus Levitate is like kind of busted. <laughs> yeah, but anyway... Pretty fun. Um, yeah, pretty good speed on this Aerodactyl. And yeah, I think the last Pokemon we have is just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is just our uh, HM douche, you know. So, but yeah, best of luck on your playthrough. Um, and yeah, like a randomizer program is actually really easy to find. So yeah, it's just... It's a, lo it's a lot of fun, you know. So I would highly recommend it. So there you go. All right, let's just... Uh, 
Yep, keep going with Jet Sun. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your... <laughs> yeah, Soul Silver. I mean, honestly, that... Yeah. I, man, when's the last time I played Soul Silver? <laughs> that honestly sounds like loads of fun. Um, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Always... And what's, what's really cool about a... Yeah, what's really cool about a Soul Silver or like Heart Gold randomizer is you know how the Pokemon walk behind you? <laughs> you could be like at the first route of the game where you just barely got your Pokeballs, and you could have like a what's a really weird looking Pokemon that you wouldn't normally have walking behind you that early. You could have like a like a Pokemon you can't, like a Rhydon following behind you from Route 1, or you could have like a I don't know um yeah, and Gen 4 Pokemon are included in Heart Gold, you could have an Electivire, <laughs> you could have a Magmortar with a cannon oh dude, just walking behind you bro uh, and like bumping in the Lima's Meryl and causing havoc, like dude, that would be cool you just got a, a Pokemon that has a gun cannon that shoots flames, you know, strutting this stuff behind you, like on Route 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, same here, Big Water. Same, I, I got to do that, like, off stream just for fun because that sounds really like, yeah, and just do random seeds, randomized seeds until I get that Magmordar. <laughs> like, you know, Route 1. <laughs> that just sounds like a whole lot of fun. To have a Pokemon with a giant flaming chest cannon that is just screams, Hey, bro, you don't want to mess with me. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So, um, yeah, I would say my favorite type is definitely, you know, water, you know, flood. It's, hey, in any game, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, yeah, hey, dragons are, hey, and that's, that's fair. I mean, look behind me. I obviously like, you know, dragons and stuff like we've got like blue eyes and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff so and dragons are obviously cool <laughs> and you know so hey honestly yeah every, like dude I'm with you there no my favorite type though is probably uh, you know excluding the obvious choices of water and dragon let's say those didn't exist right um my favorite type Let's assume, like, the natural elements don't exist. You know, like, fire, electric, water, grass, right? Okay, so the com- and dragon. So the common types are out, right? My next favorite type, assuming elemental types don't exist- uh, And ice, too. Ice is, is gone. My next favorite type would probably be just ghost- I mean, you know, it's October, it's spooky month, but like, I've always loved the design of Gengar and Haunter, and you know, like, in the original anime, right, when Ash went in that haunted house, those dudes were just pranksters, and they're kind of jokesters, and they're yucking it up, and <laughs> something about uh, Ash's Haunter, the personality of that thing, always kind of stuck with me as a kid, and that's kind of my personality. I'm just kind of like, sometimes I'll make random faces to like people on the street <laughs> just and just not care and just, you know, uh, yeah, you know, and like ghosts as a type has only gotten better and more variety and yeah, yeah, psychic, yeah, I mean like, hey, psychic Pokemon are busted, bro, Mewtwo, uh, hello, I mean that thing is just, and, and a whole slew of other of just Gardevoirs, like, powerful and yeah even alec is like there are just some really busted psychic po yeah yeah i would agree with that too but yeah i'm all i'd say ghost i like actually one of my favorites is of course jellicent right because it's uh water and ghost so is it my favorite water pokemon ever 
No, but the fact that it covers both bases is kind of cool. <laughs> You know, so many ghosts right now in the old... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, once we unlock the old chateau, I guess we'll be able to see if... Um, you know, speaking of the old chateau, you bring up a good point. It is Halloween. It's the Halloween season. You know, and I'm just kind of here grinding. Um, this was the plan, you know, because normally I don't get in a hurry, right? So the plan was just kind of grind to um, level 25 with everything and then move on. But you bring up a good point. You know, Halloween is coming up. Okay, chat. You know, speaking of Haunter. Right? Hey, maybe, maybe this game is haunted. Haunter heard me saying it was my favorite Pokemon and showed up. No, but seriously, though. Um... That's an odd coincidence. Also, you bring up a good point. The old chateau would make a great, and you know, the week of Halloween. Yeah, spooky stream. You know, whatever week that is, like the last week of the, uh, what month are we in? October? Yeah. We just kind of, yeah, well, what I should do is in the next to last week, AKA next week, Starting Sunday, I should just try to clear out Gardenia, the Team Galactic nonsense, the statue, and some of the side routes, and the bike, the cycling route. I should try to clear all that out, right, starting next week, and then we get cut, we get the bike, we get the side quest, so, ooh, protect? Um, I think I'll pass, son. Yeah, sorry, on the protect jet, son. I think I will pass, yeah. But yeah, that's actually a good idea. Like, next week, I should clear everything out. Make sure we have cut. Make sure we are good on balls. No, no, make sure we have, you know, balls that are great. You know, great balls. <clears throat> you know, since we eat more gyms. Um, no, but, uh, no, uh, and seriously, I should make sure we have more money. That's actually really key. Because if we're going to go after Rotom, well, we might as well make sure we're... Oh, a random car horn going off. But yeah, if we're going to go after Rotom, we might as well make sure we have the best balls possible. Okay, Josh challenge mode. Say that with a straight face. Okay, but yeah, if we're going to go after Rotom, we might as well make sure we have the, the best balls possible. <laughs> okay, okay. Attempt number three, Big Water Frog. Yeah, and if, if we go after a legendary Pokemon, like Rotom, we should make sure we have the best balls possible. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I can't, I'm sorry, guys. Like I told you, Big Prankster, I'm pretty juvenile. I'm pretty just kind of silly and wacky. and yeah. um, No, but seriously, that I think that'll be the plan next week. Yeah, we kind of move on from the grind session. Uh, yeah, we clear out, like, Gardenia, Team Galactic. We just kind of clear out the cycling road. That Like, each each thing's its own stream. Cycling road, its own stream. Gardenia, its own stream. Team Galactic, building its own stream. Yeah. And then we double back to the old chateau um, for the seven days leading up to Halloween. That honestly sounds like... A really fun idea um, because usually in these old areas yeah I'll just kind of um, oh it doesn't affect sand true it's still ground type that's interesting but uh, usually in the older areas I'll kind of really thoroughly explore because each room has a different encounter table so because it's a randomizer so uh, which makes sense so All right we swift but uh, yeah <laughs> That honestly sounds spooky, and yeah, let, let's see. Maybe we can get some of the glitches in this game that can happen in the old Chateau, as well as some of the just weird, creepy vibes, and we can start kind of reading about the history of the old Chateau and just saying, oh, what is this place? Why is it? That, why does it exist? Why is it here? What really happened here? You know, and yeah, just and explore the place with spooky vibes and just kind of build up to the finale 
which the finale is obviously we catch Rotom. I mean, uh, you know, that's that's like the last day. But yeah, <laughs> that honestly sounds. Yeah, Big Water Frog. Thank you. That's, um, you know, timing is um, pretty important when you're a streamer or a entertainer. And yeah, thanks. I mean, honestly, thank you for kind of mentioning, uh, you know, because I was just kind of mindlessly uh, grinding here and, you know, like it's another Friday night or whatever. Uh, <laughs> but you got me thinking because you were like, hey, you know, in my game, I'm right about here. And I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, you're just a little ahead of us. And wait, 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 wait. what day is it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so yeah that's really good um i was about to skip it until i saw a ah yeah 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 that's true I, like and to be fair you know to be fair some people do wait until ultras are available you know for easier odds so yeah and i like honestly that's you know it's a legendary Pokemon. You know, whenever you encounter it, you hear the legendary theme, and that's that's fair. You know, it would do what's best for. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. You know, so. Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> so, all right, a little more experience for Icy Baida. I wonder when what his next move is gonna be. Maybe it'll be like Shockwave. That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Uh, so, oh, speaking of legendary Pokemon, yeah, so Uxie's here, and we know Uxie's been here. But yeah, <laughs> double Uxie. All right, we did it. We can make the uh, red chain that, uh, you know, is needed to summon Giratina. We have dupes of them. So we can make two red chains if we catch them both, but no. Obviously, I've tried to catch quite a few of these uh, with just Pokeballs. Uh, you know, we wasted quite a few, but... This Ekans actually has glare. Uh, what's funny is normally Cheryl's Pokemon isn't aggressive. This Ekans has the perfect moveset. It has glare, which can paralyze stuff, and it has bite, which can flinch. Um, it's just very good. And like, we've caught so many Pokemon here thanks to Cheryl. Basically getting it to like one HP, and then, yeah, using glare. <laughs> So honestly, yeah, we even caught like Snorlax in here. We caught just so many Pokemon, good Pokemon. So yeah, this Ekans, really, we got really lucky that as coming in here, it can't on a randomizer. Let's say Cheryl had a beastly Pokemon like, I don't know, Garchomp with Dragon Rage. That could have been a problem <laughs> as far as us catching Pokemon. Like for example, I mean, this thing is sleep and really low on health. So I will chuck a ball here. I mean, hey, why not? I mean, is it going to catch it? No, but, you know, yeah, I mean, you might as well give it a shot because, hey, why not? So, <laughs> um, I do not got the best. Oh, no, it's cool. <laughs> Forget to buy and, oh, <laughs> all I got is a one great, a heal, and a, oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. <laughs> Best of luck. There you go. Yep. Good luck, Big Water Frog. You got this. You got this. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Snorlax and Golem. All right. Yeah. Honestly, that's uh, that sounds really good for next week. Clear out everything and then. Um, Pretty soon, we old chateau. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, we do what... Uh, uh, <clears throat> we do what Big Water Frog's doing right now. <laughs> kind of clear it out. Get all the random... And there are tons of random items in there, too. Because we're doing a randomizer. So we could walk in there and find, like... A Master Ball. In the trash can. Or... A Petcha Berry where uh, there's normally a calcium so yeah the random the random items they could be anything you know you never know so, that's part of the fun <laughs> yep 
Mm, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, it's honestly really good. Ooh, note to self. Pick up the dowsing machine before... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty key, yeah. Note to self. Pick up the dowsing machine, which you can pick up right before you go in there. That's pretty... Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim, remind me. Remind me, bro. Like, uh, Tim's my editor on uh, YouTube, so he... Uh... <laughs> He's the one who does all the clips and stuff. But uh, yeah, hey, for real, dog, remind me to, yeah, <laughs> get the machine. Oh, it is Shockwave. Nice, nice. I had a feeling we were about to learn a new move. I was just like, hey, Shockwave. Um, yeah, I kind of like, like all my moves. And Shockwave does not miss, so I'm pretty good. We get Thunder Shock. And <laughs> how shocking we learn Shockwave. Uh, where? Wait, what? Um. Oh, um. So, right below the cycling, cycling road. Um, head west. Head into. Um. Oh man, what's the name of? What's the name of that cave that runs all throughout Sino? Um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mount Coronet, before you slide down the hill to Orberg. Yeah, right, because remember, like, right below Cycling Road, there's kind of the split, and what you want to do is, like, yeah, 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 you basically don't want to go to or Orberg. When you see the slope, head, like, straight that way to the right head straight to the right oh wait i uh, reverse cam head straight to the right head straight to the right toward mount coronet um so, oh save save before you do because your rival will stop you and like battle you i think at the cave entrance and then after you win uh don or, or whoever your rival is um because you could pick the other character will say oh hey i found this dowsing machine would, would you like to have it? And then um, I think they also give you the Versus Seeker too. Or maybe it's the Versus Recorder. Yeah, well, anyway, you get the Dowsing Machine like right there. Right there, like above the slide of Orberg. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a, you got a big water frog. Hey, no problem, no problem. So, uh, yeah, I got you, fam. Uh, that low kick didn't do much damage. Has this thing been boosting its defense? Probably. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I was just kind of mindlessly, you know, vlogging, which, which, which is what we do. We just kind of talk about random wacky. So just speaking of talk, I should definitely make a save state here, just in case. We've had weird things happen on stream, so. <laughs> okay, I feel a lot safer now. All right. Yeah, I think we'll go for about, eh, maybe like 10, 15 more minutes, and... Mm, I think after that, we're going to call it a night, folks. Yeah, because uh, 10, 15 minutes, it would be right at 4 a.m. Honestly, that sounds pretty good. Nice little chill, cozy stream in at 4 a.m. And uh, yeah, call it good. So, all right. But uh, yeah, thanks to everybody for being here. Yeah. Big Water Frog, Justice H, and Sir, thanks a lot. As well as Flu. Flu VT, yeah. Appreciate all you guys. <laughs> He's going to steal my shockwave. It's actually a pretty solid move, bro. For a smear goal, so. Alright. And, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks, Big Water Frog. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the, the vessels. And, uh, yeah, you're safe now. You're all aboard, man. Ain't got to worry about them floodwaters. All right, come on aboard. We've got some uh, barbecue and uh, hot dogs, hamburgers. We got we got some stuff on this vessel. <laughs> we got good times and laughter, and yeah, we got a little bit of everything. So, welcome aboard. All right. Uh, oh, I need to switch the target. <laughs> I was just kind of mindlessly mashing the A button, like I'm playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, you know. And then, oh, didn't hey hey, that's all right, you know. I'm sure you saved beforehand, so it's, uh, yeah, honestly, if you want, give it a couple more tries, and, um, yep, 
You can you can do it, my man. You can do it. Uh, this thing's fire type, but I don't really have the resources to go after it. So, do 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 do. Uh, well, I guess the other option is, yeah, you can always come back too. <laughs> that's the good part. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's just part of the game, you know. Sometimes the balls you have aren't doing the job. So you just gotta go buy some better balls. <laughs> you know, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're talking about Pokeballs. So, um, yeah, and, you know, sometimes you'll have balls that are, you know, just great, or, you know, balls that are dusk, or, you know, balls that you love. You know, love balls? Sometimes balls can be your friend. <laughs> and uh, you gotta watch out you know some some balls are you know pretty fast fast balls are quick yeah <laughs> there's just all kind of balls man you know and you know it's okay you know yeah it's okay i think my favorite balls would be love balls yeah that's pretty uh... <laughs> how did they get away with that name okay can we just discuss this chat you know gen 2 right <laughs> How you have to take your apricorns to curd and convert them? How did they get away? Like, oh yeah, these balls here, we just call them love balls, you know. You know, there's no innuendo there. <laughs> you know, the pink ones, the pink ones that. Uh, what's the best ball for Rotom? Um, uh, for Rotom, that's actually a good question. Ooh, um, I think. <laughs> Big water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, love. Uh, yeah, which are mostly in Gen 2. But uh, yeah, how did that make it past the censorship of four kids? You know, wasn't there even a Johto episode where Ash made a love ball? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, look it up. Um, but um, uh, I think the best balls for Rotom are actually Dusk Balls. Because it's both inside of a... Well, he's not inside of a cave. Hmm. This is a good question. Mm, I, mm. Okay. How does the bonus from Dusk Ball work? I know if you're at night. I uh, didn't even have to reset. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes. Last Pokeball. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Hey, man. Big ups for Big Water Frog. Clutch last Pokeball. <laughs> nice. Got Rotom in a Pokeball. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. That's always a good feeling. Hey, good job, dog. Good job. Man, that's good. Yeah, way to go, Big Water Frog. Hey, congrats on your catch. And yeah, enjoy your... Pokedex, um, uh, con uh, soon to be converted Pokedex. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Rotom's actually really good. You know, Electric Ghost. And but uh, to answer his question, because uh, not everybody will have, uh, yeah, like honestly, because I know you get the times two bonus from Dust Ball right at night. I think Old Chateau also counts as a cave entrance. Because it's just like spooky and dark, and I think you can get the times four if you go at night and with the dusk ball. So that's probably, or I guess quick balls always do have a good chance on turn one. So there's that too. Yeah, either quick turn one or <laughs> go for mirror ball. Hey, that would be any legend in a, that. Yeah, that would be. Hey, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think your best bets, which they have the same odds, you know what I mean? But Quick Ball Turn 1, or like, yeah, like take 20 Dust Balls. That's probably your best bet. If um, And the reason, that's actually a good question, Big Water Fog. Uh, Big Water Fog, like the reason I'm even still talking about it is because like, I post the VODs on my YouTube, so yeah, yeah like... You guys might be going to the same area, like the old chateau. Yeah, if you're going uh, just up here, yeah, just uh, wait till night and go with the dusk ball. Uh, it should be at times four. Uh, so, 
Okay, well, we are almost to the end of the stream. So, out of an abundance of caution, let's start a berry planting right now. Uh, that way we get it done on time. And then in six hours, I might do a short little berry harvest stream. And then we check some, like, early morning Pokemon. Um, and then we switch to, like, Master Doors. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, so. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the plan. Just kind of chill, go to bed. Uh, yeah. Play Pokemon here in about six hours. Take my free berries and... Yeah. Then next week we do the... Mm-hmm. Gotta move on. Alright. Do, do, do. Alright. It's so funny how the move chatter works. It's just such a weird... Uh, um, wait, what? Hang on. Wait a second. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I saw something weird here on my computer. I was like, what is that? Wait, what? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's head on out. And I guess since we are heading back to the Pokemon Center, yeah, let's just use uh, Jetson's Intimidate and make sure... We don't really have any problems. Oh, are you going back? I'll wait for you here then. All right. Bye, best girl. Well, actually, Cynthia's best girl, but you know what I mean, Cheryl. You're cool. Thanks for all the free heals. <laughs> all right. And let's head on out. Um, yeah, I think here I'll plant uh, Lepas, obviously. So, which, yeah. The reason that we're focusing on this is because, you know, ethers aren't guaranteed. Uh, for the Elite Four, which that can kind of be a problem. So, yeah, good call by me, like, realizing that two months ago, or whenever we started grinding, like, hey, yeah, uh, I might want to start growing Lepas, you know, just kind of, <laughs> yeah, because Ethers are not, or Elixirs are not guaranteed, so, yeah, and yeah, we could be up against anything uh, at the Elite Four, we don't know, it's completely random so all right uh sure let's just fish for the for the lols here let's just fish fish up here let's see what's biting oh we hauled it in all right laying into pokemon what we got what well, new hmm. that's actually a new pokemon hang on let's just uh okay <laughs> Alrighty, let's go right here. Um, let's switch to um, Fiat King. Yeah, put it to sleep. Yeah, let's see if we can catch us a new Pokemon. Didn't know this thing was just chilling out here, but all right. Uh, tackle attack. Uh, yeah, this thing has a pretty low catch rate from what I remember. So after the yawn and the growl, I will switch to um, yeah, flop of flop. This is one reason we bring this guy along. It's, he's incredibly weak. It's good for chipping down Pokemon like this. Yo, whip. Yeah, that's uh, cute and all, but... Uh, Alright, he's asleep. I guess we focus on Rock Smash here. And yeah, we just go from there, so... Alright. Do I have the... Um, I'm pretty sure we don't. Not right now. Um, the secret key. No. Um, uh, you get that from Guard... Who gives you that? Do you get it from Gardenia? I forget where you get the secret key. Where? Oh, hmm. Wow. Right. Yeah. And I think there is like a password you can look up to, uh, or like a game shark code to trigger the. Uh, yeah. 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 We. We. There is like a. Yeah. 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 Just before like. The finale stream of a spooky week yeah we can just like look up the game shark code and use our officially licensed uh soldier boy game console to you know legally get a uh, rotom you know because yeah yeah so the soldier boy wouldn't lie to us soldier boy i had to put it in my oh okay yeah no. yep, not a problem not a problem all right yeah yeah 
Do 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 do. I guess we can put this thing back to sleep. That's uh, and we're just kind of chipping it down, man. <laughs> I guess this thing is damaging us, so we kind of got to watch out. But uh, also, I should watch out for the defense drops, both of us and him, because that's kind of all right. Um, not very effective. Okay. And actually, let's try a ball right now. Yeah, Lanoon is the evolved form of Zigzagoon. And this thing has a really low catch rate, rate from what I remember, so. Okay, ball. Yo. Yeah. And kind of one. And two. And three. Nice. All right, guys. There we go. All right, first capture of the stream. New Pokemon, which means Dexter Voice. All right, here you guys go. Dexter Voice. <laughs> Psychic Ground. Wow. Lanoon, the rushing Pokemon. It charges prey at speeds of over 60 miles per hour. However, because it can only run straight, it often fails. Oh, interesting, huh? There you go, Lanoon. Um, what other type is Psychic Ground? Uh, like Claydol, right? Or, no, it's Ghost Ground. Mm, Ball Toy? What is Psychic Ground? I can't think of one. <laughs> but I'll just nickname this the same thing I nickname every... Zigzagoon I ever catch. Uh, yeah, normally this thing's ability is pickup. So I usually name it this scope because he just scopes out items for us, you know, normally. But he's going to have a random ability. Favorite Rotom form? Ooh, that's a great question. Great question. Uh, what's you guys' favorite form, um, YouTube viewers? Um, but mine, mm, dang, this is such a tough one. Because there's so many, um, I'm going to have to like really, um, it's between, yeah, because everyone's going to say air, right? Because like, honestly, that was the first flying electric. And I really like the type, com well, I guess, what's well, not Zapdos, Zapdos, but um, yeah, Zapdos. But still, it's a really good, like, because I remember using air Rotom, you know, in just to compete with my friends and it really pulled through. Uh, so I've got fond memories of error Rotom. So that's, yeah, that's probably, but um, at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, like some of the forms are just hilarious. <laughs> um, washing machines also pretty, pretty funny. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What about you? Big water fry? <laughs> Like, there, there are really just so many forms that, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, washing machine, washing machine ain't bad. It, it's honestly not, so. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, 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 it, to narrow it down, like, Error Rotom has provided me so many wins in battles with my friends. You know, just, and of course, we, you know, at the time, when Platinum first came out, you know, yeah, I had a pretty good job, and uh, things were stable for me and basically i play with my friends all the time um the one or two friends that i know that do play pokemon so and yeah we would bat all the time at school and stuff and yeah yeah that air rotom it's a tough matchup for some people so yeah i'll say air air rotom yay <laughs> but um some of the other forms are like vacuum <laughs> vacuum rotom i mean some of the other forms are just Hilarious. Yeah, it was really good in Sword and Shield competitively. Oh. Yeah, I, I would imagine just the typing is, yeah, electric. And, like, the nice part is, like, the flying. You can't hit uh, flying Pokemon with ground moves. So, yeah. <laughs> you just kind of, yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see if Lanoon's holding any... Oh, the washing machine was good. Oh. Wait, the washing machine was good and competitive? Oh, that's, um, I'm sure there's a good reason why. Well, it's Rotom, first of all. It's a legendary, so that's, okay. <laughs> it, it makes sense, honestly. <laughs> it is a legendary Pokemon, so. Um, let's see if Lanoon has a random item. It might. Um, it does not. What is its ability? Like, later, oh, a new, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Reckless powers up moves that have recoil damage. Huh. I never knew this ability existed. Yeah, I never knew this ability existed. 
What Pokemon normally has this ability? Reckless? Huh. Interesting. Um, well, anyway. It is just Lanoon, so I doubt we'll actually... Well, a Headbutt could be useful. But, um, eh, anyway. I wonder what Pokemon normally... <laughs> anyway, anyway I'm, I'm thinking a little too much on this chat. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us tonight. I'm just going to say right here, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, and, yeah, thanks to uh, Big Water Frog for the follow. And a lot of you guys for, yeah, just being here tonight. The interaction is really good. And I have fun just kind of... Obviously, that's the best part of streaming. It's just kind of, yeah, chatting with you guys. Just talking about... Pokemon, talking, just talking. Period. I mean, <laughs> I could talk to you guys about spark plugs or whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, meeting new people and yeah, and just kind of hanging out, chilling. That's that's part of it's it's a fun part of life. So, um, let me switch to just chatting here, and let's see if we can find somebody I can, we can raid here. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, but as for you, Big Water Frog, I should be on sometime tomorrow. I'm thinking um, sometime after 1230, um, which would be in how many hours? About eight and a half hours. So should be on for a little while. So yeah, feel free to join us. Um, who shall we raid? Is anyone playing Platinum? Um, that's a good question. Let's go to Twitch here. <laughs> and um, I might just hit in. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I doubt anyone's playing Platinum this late. Well, I mean, maybe. I, let, let's, let's search it up. Let's not uh, Let's not assume, you know. Uh, Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> Maybe we're the number one Pokemon Platinum streamer chat. <laughs> uh, no, there actually is um, a few other people playing Pokemon. Um, interesting. Let's... Okay. Let's raid this streamer. I, I mean, I don't know anything about them, but they, it looks like they're playing Platinum. Uh, huh. Okay. Let's go for this. So. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Big Water Frog said, I think you're the only one. Ah, uh, no, there, are, I did find one other. And yeah, let's just be nice and respectful and, um, <laughs> just say hi and go from there. B I L. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. Well, do they allow raids? I don't know. Uh, yeah, here we go. And yeah, there we go. Alrighty. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yep. Appreciate you being here. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're, yeah, if you need help catching Pokemon, just remember, upgrade your balls. That's always, uh. Oh, and also, if you need help catching Pokemon, here's another tip. Try believing in the heart of the cards. I don't believe in that hocus pocus nonsense. You e, you and I. <laughs> Good night, big water frog. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes.